What's up everybody, how's it going? In this video, I'm gonna announce the two winners of the Algo Expert Winter 2020 Software Engineering Project Contest. For those of you who aren't aware, in early January 2020, about two and a half months ago now, we announced the first Algo Expert Software Engineering Project Contest. This was a contest, or has been a contest, where we invited all of you to compete by building any cool software engineering project that you wanted to build and submitting it to us, you had to give us a GitHub link of your code and a one minute YouTube video showcasing your project. And this was all in an effort to compete to be one of two winners. The two winners are gonna be announced in this video and the two winners are gonna be winning uh, cool prizes. They're gonna win a mock coding interview with me, fun. They're gonna win a 30 minute video call with me and a 30 minute video call with Antoine, my co-founder on Algo Expert. And perhaps the most exciting prize is that we, uh, Antoine and I, are going to be putting uh, the two winners in touch with and very much recommending them to uh, recruiters at Google, Facebook, and Uber that we know. So that was the contest, and those were the general rules of the contest. And I have to say, before I announce the winners, that I got the idea for this contest back in September or October 2019, and at first we were hesitating on whether or not to actually do this contest because we were kind of concerned about a few logistical things, like how were we going to really judge this, how many people were going to be interested. We had all kinds of doubts about it, but we ended up saying, let's go for it. Let's make this an experiment. Let's see how it goes. The, the goal, the overarching goal is to get as many developers as possible to build something cool, to have a cool project that they can add on their resume. And of course, the competition and the prizes were meant to be kind of motivating factors to get people to do that. And I can unequivocally say, having now seen all of the entries and seen all of your work, that the contest was a success and that this goal of getting people to create cool stuff and to have cool projects to add on their resume was accomplished. We got a total of 77 entries, which is actually kind of neat to think about. That 77 developers, 77 people all over the world decided to actually take this seriously and build something really cool for this. And by the way, that means that the two winners had roughly a two and a half percent chance of winning, which is kind of neat. That's like twice as hard to win this contest as it is to get into Harvard. That was a weird wink. But so yeah, 77 entries and Truthfully, I kid you not, I'm not exaggerating or trying to embellish things when I say this, but the entries that we received, the projects that were submitted to us, were seriously impressive. We got really, really, really impressive projects, and it was just really inspiring to see the amount of effort that so many of you put into these projects. Trust me when I say that we saw the effort, we saw the commits on GitHub, we saw the polish that you put in your videos, we saw the effort and it didn't go unnoticed that, that some of you put you know, literally weeks, weeks upon weeks upon weeks of effort into these projects. I hope that you were all able to get something out of this. I mean, I know that, you know, you all know that there were only going to be two winners, so not everyone was going to win. So I hope that everyone came into this uh, with the idea that you know you were going to get something out of it regardless by just doing the projects. Um, I think you certainly did because the projects that you all made were, were really impressive and were are hopefully going to be really useful to add on your resumes, hopefully taught you a lot and all that. With that said, I am going to announce the two winners. I'm going to show you their two videos, the videos that they submitted to us. And then after I announce the two winners, I'm gonna make a few other announcements related to some of the other entries. So do stick around, especially if you participated in the contest but you didn't end up winning. Definitely watch until the end of the video because I'm gonna be making a couple of announcements uh, just related to the contest still. But so with that, let's jump into the two winners. So uh, neither of the two winners know that they're winners as of right now. So as I'm speaking right now, assuming they're watching. They don't know yet that they're winners. I haven't contacted them or anything. Um, I'm going to contact them in the coming few days, so you'll, you can expect to hear from me uh, then if you're a winner. But so let's jump into the first winner. The first winner is, drumroll, 
drumroll. I'm going to say the name of the project, drumroll. The MIPS Visualizer Project. The MIPS Visualizer Project. So this was a project submitted to us by a developer named Alexa, not to be confused with Amazon Alexa. This is A-L-E-K-S-A. -E um, and so Alexa did a really cool project. Basically, he created a visualization tool or a visualization web app for CPU instructions. So you can see what happens under the hood at a CPU level. It's really, really impressive, like very uh, technically impressive, a lot of knowledge, um, really creative, like we didn't expect it at all, and very cool visualizations, very like clear stuff. So I'll just let the video uh, show you the project. So enjoy. Hey, what is going up? This is a demonstration of a project I made for Algo Expert Software Engineering Contest. This is a MIPS simulators so what i'm actually trying to do right now is add two numbers so i have loaded an instruction i can now execute it clock by clock and in each clock i can hover over any active element in order to determine its value and its purpose now if i continue execution of my instruction you can see that the state of a cpu is actively changing and once the entire instruction has been executed we can come over here and notice that the value of dollar one register is 600 which is indeed 100 plus 500. now you can simulate a few different instructions but this is all the time i have so i'd like to thank you for watching all right, so that was Alexa's MIPS Visualizer. Once again, a really, really impressive project. Um, Alexa, when we uh, you know, went over all of the projects, uh, your project stood out as one that we, you know, both Antoine and I and uh, the other couple of people on Algo Expert who looked at the projects, we all kind of said, like, unequivocally, like, this has to be, you know, one of the top projects. It's, it's so impressive. Like, we were, like, genuinely impressed. Um, so, so fantastic job. And, um, yeah, congratulations. Now, winner number two. Uh, this one kind of uh, took us by surprise. It'll, it startled us, and you'll, you'll see why in a second. So, winner number two. Drum roll, drum roll, drum roll, drum roll. Winner number two is the Algo Expert mobile app. Now, Give me a second to explain, because I know that some of you are probably going to like thinking, like, what? That's what we were thinking when we saw this project. So basically, this guy named uh, Mateus, hopefully I'm pronouncing your name correctly, Mateus, congratulations for winner number two, developed a mobile app for Algo Expert. Now, I'm sure that some of you might be thinking, like, wait a second, like, was there favoritism here or something? Like, trust me when I say, no, there wasn't. At the end of the day, um, truthfully, we have no real intention on having a mobile app right now for Algo Expert, and we've thought about it in the past. It doesn't really make sense for us from a, like, business or operational point of view, but this person just, like, his project was just incredible. Really, really creative. Um, super impressive, like basically built a, a full-fledged working prototype of a mobile app for Algo Expert or what a mobile app for Algo Expert would be in React Native and other technologies. And um, also, Mateus, you had unequivocally the most polished you know, video demonstration of your project. You clearly put some serious effort into it. With that said, you know, everybody enjoy this video. It's like really well made. All right, so that was Mateus's Algo Expert mobile app. Um, once again, like 
fantastic project. When we saw it, we were, like, at first, we didn't even know what to think. Like, at first, we were like, is this guy just, like, video editing? Like, was this just, like, done in Photoshop? But then we, you know, we looked and saw that you actually like, built this entire thing, and we were just, like, our jaws dropped. We we're like, like, how did this guy do this? Like, so, so creative, like, tons of initiative, really cool, um, and just, yeah, great, great job. And, you know, like, company, big tech companies need and are thirsty, for lack of a better word, for uh, mobile developers. So I think that, that you're going to be a, a prime candidate for that. And also, um, just to, to add the cherry on top, even though this had nothing to do with our decision, because I just found this out like 20 minutes ago, I saw on Mateus's LinkedIn that, that you're only 18 years old, which I think adds to the, to the impressiveness of, of your project. When I was 18, I was like playing 18 hours of World of Warcraft. I wasn't building like full-fledged mobile apps for companies. But anyway, congrats, and uh, you are the second winner. So with that said, those are the two winners, but I, I wanna make a couple of announcements about all the other entries. Like I said, there were a lot of impressive projects, and, and it was actually very frustrating for us to be like judging these projects, and I know that some of you might be rolling your eyes kind of thinking like, oh, give me a break, but hear me out. When you have so many impressive entries and you have to to judge them right first of all it's very difficult to just say like oh we're gonna objectively pick you know two or n that are like better than the others but then on top of that when the entries are so diverse it becomes even harder we had all kinds of projects submitted to us. We had video games, we had mobile apps, we had algorithm visualizers, we had web apps, like CRUD apps, we had um, AI, like ML models, you know, like tr models that had been trained and that were used to like determine, like guess, like uh, picture stuff in pictures and all kinds of stuff. And all these projects are so diverse, they're so hard to compare to each other. Like how do you compare, for instance, a video game to a crud app. You know, one is very visual, very like wow factory. The other one might not be as, might, might almost seem like dull at face value, but then you look into it and you see that the person, you know, interacted with like 10 different APIs and built their own super comprehensive API. And it's just a very impressive project. So my point is that it was just really tough for us to, to go through all these entries and, and judge them. And also because for some of the entries, we didn't even feel like we had the technical, you know, knowledge or credentials to actually judge them appropriately. You know, there are some some entries where we we're like, whoa, this is out of our domain of expertise. Like, I'm not exactly sure what this code does. You know, this is not something that I've ever done. But so all that to say that we concluded that it would be incorrect not to recognize a bunch of the other projects that were submitted to us. And we felt like it would be a disservice to the community not to show off some of these other projects. And so what we decided to do is to build an actual page on the Algo Expert website, which is live now. You can go see it and I'll put the link in the description below in the comments below, where we not only displayed the two winners, the, the two winners that I mentioned, but we also displayed 25 special mentions, 25 projects of the 77 projects that we thought were genuinely super impressive. And these projects, as you'll see if you, if you go check them out, and I would really encourage you to do so, they span all kinds of categories. Again, you've got video games that themselves make use of AI, you've got neural networks, you've got visualization tools, you've got all kinds of stuff, math projects, like visualizations of math functions, all kinds of stuff. Go check them out. All those projects are really incredible. Uh, they are really worth spending a minute to watch them, to watch their videos. Hopefully this will do justice to these projects and hopefully it'll serve as inspiration for a lot of you, even those of you who didn't compete in the contest, to kind of go see what other people have done, go see the various types of projects that, that you might wanna do and get some inspiration and then do your own project. So we have this official page there, 25 projects plus the two winners are there, so 27 projects.
Um, we haven't linked the GitHub links uh, to those projects yet. We're going to be doing that in about three days, let's say by Wednesday, March 18th. If for whatever reason you don't want us to link your GitHub on the website because you don't want it to be publicly available or something like that, uh, contact us on Algo Expert with the other category and let us know, like tell us who you are and why you don't want your GitHub there and we'll definitely respect you and we won't put it there or if you want us to take down your video for whatever reason otherwise we will be posting the github links and also let us know if you'd like us to add your linkedin right now we don't have anybody's linkedins but if you do want us to add your linkedin just so that people who go see the projects can contact you more easily if they're interested in doing that let us know we're happy to add your linkedins on the website under your videos and that is that otherwise huge congratulations again to everybody who participated in the contest seriously like all 77 entries were very impressive in their own rights it was incredibly difficult again for us to go through all of them and and kind of like try to judge them because there were so many really cool ones i hope you all got something out of this and with that Smash the like button if you haven't already. If not for me, do it for Alexa, for Mateus, and for everybody else who competed in this contest. And I will see you in the next video. Holy shit, it's like 5 a.m. I haven't gone to sleep. What am I doing with my life?